And as we await, Jim, uh, more progress in uh, vaccine uh, trial data, uh, the debate continues over whether the policies we have in place are enough uh, in the interim. Uh, Scott Gottlieb with the big op-ed in the journal talking about still six months in, not enough masks, not enough personal protection equipment, uh, not enough testing capability. You got the Surgeon General on Fox this morning, Jim, quote, the whole administration is now supportive of masks, which, depending on how you read that quote, uh, might run afoul of what the president told Chris Wallace over the weekend. Here's what he said. I don't agree with the statement that if everybody wear a mask, everything disappears. Hey, Dr. Fauci said don't wear a mask. Our Surgeon General, terrific guy, said don't wear a mask. Everybody was saying don't wear a mask. All of a sudden, everybody's got to wear a mask. And as you know, masks cause problems, too. With that being said, I'm a believer in masks. I think masks are good. Jim, as we made a point last week, uh, certainly... Large retailers in this country are saying, well, forget it. We're not waiting for a national policy anymore. Right. I, I think they all feel pretty committed to the idea that uh, somewhat like what Mark Benioff said when we unveiled the mass challenge to uh, XPRIZE.org, which is that, look, uh, if everyone wore a mask and practiced social distancing, this thing could be suppressed in three weeks. What I think the real issue is going to be, Carl, when it comes to all this testing is, are, are the, is the NBA, are the NFL, are they using all our tests? How many tests are they going to have to do? Do you have to test during the halftime? What can we discover? And I do think that uh, every time we feel like we've ca uh, caught up in mass, in, uh, mass or when we caught mass, now it's Haynes brand at Target, uh, or we feel like we've, we've caught up in testing, we find out that there's a new hotspot spot and we haven't done it. It is interesting to hear in that interview with with Fox that the president is very against mass and he's very in favor of mass. That's a tremendous thing to be able to do within the span <laughs> of 90 seconds. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. Um, as far as the data over the weekend, Jim, I mean, there is there's enough kernels in there to argue that at least in some states, let's take Arizona, maybe we're going to see a plateau in cases. But Others, certainly, if you listen to the, some of the commentary out of Miami, at least, and some areas of Texas, uh, there's concern that this could still spiral out of control. Right. I, I am looking at the death rate. I think that the president's right. You have to consider the fact that the fatality rate is much, much lower than it was in New York. I, I think we keep learning about the disease. I think that we didn't have—it was a novel disease. I think that the president uh, took uh, Dr. Fauci to task. Uh, Dr. Fauci is an amazing man because he really does take a look and he keeps on, you know, and, and he keeps on ticking. Uh, I I don't know why he stays, because he made a mistake at the beginning of this, saying that we don't need masks. We don't know whether that was motivated politically. We don't know if that was because he wanted to be sure that all the health care workers had masks, or whether he just got it completely wrong. We just don't know. But ever since then, I mean, he's tried to catch up as, as the doctors have caught up. And I don't think it's necessarily fair or right to single out a guy who was wrong, given the fact that all of the great medical practitioners that we talked to in New York were completely wrong. They didn't even know you're supposed to turn people over. They didn't know. They didn't also have remdesivir and they didn't have a, uh, they didn't have plasma. They didn't have a lot of block, blood oxygen ideas, and they didn't have steroids. So let's just forget about what happened and start thinking about the future. And the future is brighter than the past when it comes to deaths, and uh, it is uh, darker when it comes to testing and contact, contact tracing out of the picture in our country, which is why both the New York Times and Washington Post, I, the president, please don't read the papers this weekend and today, they have just said it's a total disaster. And I'm trying to figure out what kind of disaster that our country has had that's ever as bad as this that's been self-inflicted, given the fact that Vietnam has no deaths, Japan has very few deaths, South Korea has so few deaths, uh, and uh, Taiwan almost no deaths. Those are big, big countries, and uh, they're faring so much better, and it's not just mass. They do a contact trace, uh, but they're also disciplined, and we're unruly. Uh, this may go down as us being, uh, I'd say, a lesser developed country versus those countries.